After a four-day official visit to Germany and Belgium in Europe, President William Ruto jetted back to the country in the morning, a few hours before the Azimio protests began. Her Excellency Meg Whitman. President Ruto announcing the establishment of 67 billion Moderna vaccine factory to be built in Nairobi. This will be the only such facility on the African continent. And for Moderna, their first factory outside the United States. Ruto also announcing a raft of new measures to boost local and international trade. Effective June this year, all verified tax refund claims will be payable within six months. Among the measures, the president declared a plan to exempt startup companies from paying digital services taxes on employee allocated shares starting 1st of July this year. The head of state also announcing the removal of taxes on export services. Milele Energy, a U.S. company, has just concluded a deal to acquire part of the Turkana wind power project, one of the largest in Africa and producer of over 20% of Kenya's electricity in 2022. <laughs> this is together with plans for expansion, Symbion Power, another American company, is closing in on a deal to develop a geothermal plant in our Rift Valley. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Meg Whitman also attending the high-profile summit. By end of this year, we will become the first African country to sign a strategic trade and investment partnership with the United of America. Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria and Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalim Davadi were the other high-profile government officials in attendance. Take advantage of it. Give us minor K24, Nairobi.